Sunday NFL Preview Show. I am James Craig, and with me as always is my colleague and former NFL running back, Nate Fisher. Also joining us, new to the team, NFL head coach, Don Morrison. Great to be here, James. All right, let's get down to our first game on tap. We've got the Bears versus the Vikings. Nate, how do you see this one going? Well, the Bears are going to have to play old school Bears defense if they want to win this one. With Adrian Peterson was playing in the preseason, I don't know if the Bears can hold up. Coach, what's your take on this matchup? Well, the way I see it, Vikings are big and powerful men, like crazy Swedes with hammers, you know? And they got like six months of nighttime up there, so all they do is sit around and build cheap furniture, you know? But a bear, a bear will kill you right in front of your girlfriend, steal your wallet and your car, drive down to Costco, use your Costco card to buy one of those big old gift tins of popcorn, you know? Kind of's got like three different flavors in it, like <laughs> cheesy caramel and super buttered, you know? And then they're gonna take that popcorn tray back and they're gonna go back to the cave in your car and they're gonna sit around with the other bears and eat that popcorn because man, bears love that stuff. And they're gonna laugh and laugh about how there's some guy down at Costco that keeps letting a bear use a people's <laughs> Costco card. <laughs> so you're going with the bears? That's right. A bear will kill you and identity theft you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on to our next matchup. We've got the Giants taking on the Eagles. Well, the Eagles are the worst team in the NFC East. I'm sorry, Michael Vick is not an NFL level quarterback. He's a trick player at best. I'm going with Eli, Eli Manning at the Giants. Well, now I got to uh, know a little bit more information about that Giant. Now, if it's like some kind of giant Japanese super robot or something, or a giant lady on a giant lady period, then an eagle doesn't stand a chance. But if it's like a giant baby, well, it doesn't matter how giant a baby is, it's still a baby, you know? It's going to be all wobbly because its giant head's too big for its giant baby body, you know? And it's going to fall over, and it's going to start to cry, and it's going to see that eagle, and it's going to get scared. It's going to take a giant dump and it's giant baby diapers, and then that's just going to attract more eagles. So uh, I don't know. I don't think I can give you an accurate prediction until I have a little bit more information about that giant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Our next game. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Coach, uh, um, uh, you do realize that we are talking about football, right? That's right. Football. <laughs> Next, uh, we've got the Washington Redskins, that is the football Redskins, taking on the Carolina Panthers. Again, these are football players on football teams. I cannot emphasize that enough. <laughs> you know, he did bring up a good point. You never did tell us what kind of giant it was. There is no real giant! <laughs> Just tell us which team will win. Well... The Jaguars are pretty bad. The only named player they have is, uh, what's his name, D'Angelo Williams. Um, with the way the RG3 was playing at the end of last season, I'm looking at the Redskins. So you're on the Redskins bandwagon this year? <laughs> yeah, but I do think a uh, Panther could eat a whole tribe of Redskins. Oh, you think that, man. <laughs> just one time, I was at a Kylie Minogue concert, and I met this big, muscly, blonde-headed Redskin, right? And he put something in my drink. And the next thing you know, I wake up completely naked, tied to his four-poster bed in his hotel room. Now, I kept falling in and out of consciousness, you know, and every time I'd wake up, that redskin would rearrange the furniture in the hotel room, right? Now I was so out of it, I thought at first I had been whisked away by the gossamer stylings of Miss Kylie Minogue, but it wasn't until I finally regained consciousness for good and saw that dead panther sitting at the foot of the bed, I realized right then and there I had been drugged and sodomized by a panther-hating redskin. No! 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 No real giants or eagles or Native Americans. These are mascots of football teams. Uh, football teams made of human beings who play a sport for our entertainment every week. You're supposed to tell us which team will beat the other team. Come on! There aren't any of these gay Native Americans or whatever the hell you're talking about. I mean, you played football and you coached and you should know this. Are we clear? Yeah, all right. Sorry, I just... Okay. <laughs> Our last game of the night, <laughs> we've got the Cowboys taking on the Dolphins at Texas Stadium. All right, now Cowboys wear these big old giant hats, no! right? <laughs> 
Cowboys like to put on fancy Christmas sweaters and go to put them on. I once knew this cowboy who was building a rocket ship on the roof. No! <laughs> Romo's out indefinitely with an ACL tear. The way the uh, Cowboys offensive line has been playing, I don't see how they can hold up against a much improved Dolphins defense. Uh, Dolphins by two touchdowns. <laughs> yeah, Coach, I, I see what you're saying, but the Dolphins over the Cowboys, I mean... A dolphin's just a fish. I mean, no, man, but a dolphin's like some kind of super fish, man. Like they have their own kind of super secret fish language, and they do shit like put up bombs on boats for the Navy and stuff. I knew this dolphin who got his commercial driver's license. He used to drive a truck smuggling drugs back and forth across the border for a Mexican cartel. But he used to disguise himself as the lead singer from Frankie Goes to Hollywood. So nobody would ever suspect that he was really a dolphin with a really bad cocaine habit. I quit! I quit! I don't care! God, what's his problem? Just between you and me, he hates football. His whole family was eaten by an Atlanta Falcon. <laughs> You want to get out of here? You want to go get something to eat? Yeah, sure, yeah. Did I ever tell you about the time that I was down in Denver and I was kidnapped by a roving gang of Broncos and forced <laughs> to work in a Chinese massage parlor under the name Mistress Peppermint Lotus? <laughs> Let me tell you all about it.